this is about the like least crowded thing we've seen at all in Turkey. Anywhere. <laughs> we are on our way out of Turkey and on our way to Jordan today. We're going to be there for a couple weeks, I think. About two weeks. About two weeks. And um, yeah, just really looking forward to experiencing Jordan and all its uh, many things that you usually hear about Petra and so on and so forth. We're going to try to experience all of it. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Good morning. Uh, we are on our first full day of Amman Jordan tour and it's going to be mixed with a little bit of city and also food tours. So yeah, should be pretty fun. We started our tour with a uh, quick breakfast, uh, Jordanian breakfast at this location right here. Apparently it's pretty popular. The king and his wife also um, came here to have some breakfast. We're in the Nefeum Archaeology Park, so basically an old Roman fountain. So behind me you can see a big arch. There's actually a huge basin of water above that arch, and then it would slowly trickle down and then slowly trickle down. A really cool feat of engineering for the Roman time. On either side of the Roman theater, you can see two small museums. Both of them are dedicated to the culture and the folk art of the communities. morning. Today our adventure is going to the Amman Citadel, which has a bunch of different archaeological stuff, including a museum. So we're going to get there. There's a couple hills we got to get through, but we'll be able to do it. Welcome to Philadelphia. No, not that one is now currently known as Amman. We are standing in currently one of the oldest still occupied cities probably in the entire world. This was originally created in 1800 BCE and it is still having people live in this area today. The place behind me is the Temple of Hercules which they think was built around about the second century AD. So pretty incredible stuff that they're still not even finding yet at this location. Behind me is a watchtower. And then this is the Temple of Hercules. Some of the brick used to create this was taken from this.
the Archaeology Museum. It's quite small, but has a lot of good information. It has things from digs from here in Amman, in Jericho, in Petra, and everyone's having a good time. Today is an interesting day. As we're traveling, we have gotten to the point where we realize we probably need to get our booster shots for the COVID vaccine, the COVID pandemic that's going on. And we really didn't wanna to have to fly back to the US to do that. So I did a lot of research in different countries and found out that Jordan will allow anyone on Jordanian soil to get vaccinated, which is really cool, obviously. The first thing we did is we had to get onto Jordanian soil. Check. That was easy. That was that was the easy part. And then when you get onto Jordanian soil, when you get a visa, you get a national number. So that's like your, your registration number. So once you get in and you have your national number and you have a Jordanian phone number, you then go to vaccine.jo and you register. And doing that, you put in your name, your information, that national number, and and any health concerns or whatever that's going to just basically put you in the system and you have to kind of wait a couple days to get a text back saying it's all good so we thought hey we're all good we can just go to one of the centers so every day on facebook and on twitter the ministry of health will list all of the places that have no appointment vaccination so you can go in and just get it so we were like okay cool uh we'll get an uber and we'll go out there and so that's exactly what we did this morning we we went to Sports City Center, which is this really cool area that they have here in Jordan. Just this huge sports complex with swimming pools and the Olympic committees here and tennis courts. Sorry, I digress. Um, but we go into there and we go to a table and the woman explains to us, because we're getting a booster shot and not our first shots, we have to actually go to the Ministry of Health building and show them our previous vaccines so that they can register it in the system. So, well, we need to get these booster shots because Mike's almost at his year and I have a couple months, but we don't know what countries are gonna require things. So we got in another Uber and we headed to the Ministry of Health, this beautiful big building. We walked in and the security guard very nicely explained to us to go downstairs. And we went downstairs, we found where everybody else was going, we assumed that was the right place and it was. And we found a gentleman who said, okay, uh, we can do this, but we need you to uh, print out- All your documents. All your documents, your passports and a vaccine document with a QR code. As many of you know, uh, the United States does not provide a QR code when you get your vaccination. You get the CDC card that's just written on and looks super unprofessional. Luckily for us, we were able to get the French government to convert our CDC card into their French uh, COVID pass. We were able to take that French COVID pass and transfer it to the EU pass. So we did actually have a COVID QR code. And so we had to print that out. And so we asked the man, well, you know, where can we print it out? He said, go to security. So we went back to the very nice gentleman in security and said, hey, how can we print this out? And he said, you see that gate? Keep going. There's a white van. I was like, a white van? He's like, yes, there's a white bus. Okay. So that's exactly what we did. Um, we walked and there was, sure enough, a white van with, what, two guys? Mm -hmm. Two guys sitting in there and a whole bunch of printers and power bars. And um, you WhatsApp the documents to them. They printed out, it was 50, 50 cents, Jordanian cents for each document. So uh, there was a lot of people standing there. So this is pretty common. Um, I've never run into it, but I thought it was kind of interesting. So we got the documents, um, walked back to the Ministry of Health, past our security guy, back downstairs, back to our main guy um, at the office. And he filled out a form because it was in Arabic. So we didn't know what it said when he told us what to write. And then they just had to confirm that we were registered on the Ministry of Health site, which we were already. And then they're like, all right, well, three to five days, it should get through into the system, onto the site, and then you'll be able to get your booster. Well, luckily, because of that three to five days processing time, 
we have a lot more time still in Jordan and so we're gonna go off and do uh, other things and in that time it'll be able to process and then by the time we have our last two days in Amman we're gonna be able to then jump to one of those booster sites and be able to get our booster shot. So had we waited like we originally mm -hmm. wanted to and wait until the last couple of days, we would have been really screwed and not be able to do this at all. Um, on top of that, not having uh, the France QR code also would have really screwed us. So um, just a, a lot of things fell into place today for us to be able to get this done. And so thankfully we did decide to try to take care of it today. And yes, there was a lot of speed bumps and, and hurdles Uber to get drives. over and Uber, three Uber drives, especially to get back to the Airbnb that we're at. Um, but thankfully took care of it today. It's all, it's all gonna be taken care of. And um, by next week-ish, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have our third booster shot, so. Yay.